Today is vegetable day. We're gonna cook them lean and healthy. Hi guys, welcome back to Bread and Butter, your favorite cooking channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure to do so. This really helps us and it really supports the channel. And I will personally very much appreciate it. Today, today we're working with vegetables. I have a whole uh, assortment of different kind of veg. I have the eggplant, uh, the zucchini, a parsley root, some carrots. We're gonna cook all of this together in the oven and make it into this wonderful thing called ajab sandal. I really hope I got that right. Now, usually you would cook the veg on an open fire, but we are in my apartment. I don't have an open fire. We're gonna be using the oven. Um, but if, if you're grilling outside, just grill the veg. It's just gonna add a beautiful smoky flavor to the dish. Um, another special thing about today's recipe is that it's going to be ridiculously lean. It's gonna be virtually fat-free because we're not gonna be using a drop of oil. You see, eggplants, they have a tendency to absorb everything and anything. And you can pour literally a cup of oil and this guy, this bad boy, will soak it up. Will that add flavor? Yes, but it also piles on the calories. And today, today's dish is gonna be, um, I mean, I like to think of it as like this reliable um, vegetable dish that you can pair with anything more heavy. For example, if you're gonna be grilling like a ribeye steak, you want something, you know, leaning on like the healthier, less caloric side, and this will be the perfect side dish. So the plan is we're gonna prep the veg, we're gonna clean them, uh, peel them, chop them roughly, pile it on, to one massive baking tray and just bake. It's that simple. Below, as always, uh, you will find a detailed description of the recipe. Just pay attention to the oven heat. We're gonna start with a higher heat and then lower it down. And all you need to do is just bake and show, and show the veg some love. Come over, give them a stirry stir, uh, and yeah, it's just gonna, they're gonna blend together into like this beautiful party. I added my favorite spices, uh, some rosemary, some oregano. You definitely want some salt and pepper in there. Uh, when you cut up the veg, I mean, just keep in mind that, for example, zucchini is gonna cook much, much faster than a carrot. So I prefer to keep the zucchini slices uh, like on the larger side. And for example, the carrot or the parsley root, you can really kind of cut into smaller pieces. Just make sure to use uh, a different like variety of vegetables, whatever is in season or whatever you have at home. It could be fennel or uh, celery root. Maybe you have some pumpkin just lying around. Put it all in, it's gonna just add more flavor, more texture. Now, this is gonna go in the oven. Keep in mind, this is going to shrink. It's gonna be maybe half the amount of veg. And you know, they're just gonna get to know each other, get acquainted. It's gonna be so good. Oven. Juices. 
pieces. Now the vegetables are ready. They're soft, but they still have like some dignity in them. We're gonna let them sit in the pan so they can absorb the juices back. And then we're gonna plate, decorate, serve and eat. Now a few things I want to draw your attention to. This dish is delicious served straight out of the oven, but it's also amazing when it's cold, especially if it's had like a few days to chill in the fridge. Again, the veg has already gotten to know each other. They've blended like the, the flavors, the textures. Trust me, it's amazing. I like to add a lot of herbs. Today it's parsley, and coriander and some dill. You could add anything you want. You can serve this with some chili oil. Whatever you have, whatever you love, maybe some sriracha or some smoked paprika. Just knock yourself out. Now the leftovers, I'm gonna store in the fridge. You know what you can do with this? You can blend it up into like this amazing vegetable sauce and use it to dress pasta. Or you could even use it as a base for your shakshuka. Let me know in the comments below if you want my shakshuka recipe. Let's give it a try. By the way, this keeps in the fridge for three to five days, but you can totally freeze it. Oh my God. You know what happens when you cook vegetables, when you bake them? All of the flavors just become concentrated. The sugars, they caramelize. This is so delicious. You must try it. Mmm. 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 The parsley root, it adds a sweetness. The zucchini, they're just like soft and they melt in your mouth. This is delicious. This is amazing. This is one of my favorite things. And I always have this in the fridge. This can be a separate dish. It kind of holds on its own. Or, or you can serve it with a chicken breast. I have the recipe for the juiciest chicken breast right over here, press the, press the video link. Or you can serve this with like a, with a poached egg. Mm, it's, or you know, you can chop it off with like some garlic. Anyway, this is, this is just a wonderful, beautiful vegetable base. It's healthy, it's easy to cook. It basically just cooks itself. All you do is stir it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this one, guys. I hope this becomes like a staple in your kitchen because it's all you need to be like full, happy, and lean. <laughs>